some pictures of, uh, of your wrestler, wrestler figure for sale. I was like, do you have any Macho King? I do. You do have a Macho King? Mm-hmm. I got an NWO Macho. I got a Macho King from uh, WrestleMania 8. And I got uh, I... Uh, the red and yellow tights Macho. I'm not going to lie. I do kind of want that John Cena pop vinyl. That Funko pop. The clear one? Yeah. Your boy Jeff got it. Pre-order. I kind of want to get it. But not that bad. You got a little pop collection now. Yeah, I have my Jake the Snake. I don't even have that one, and I'm a Jake the Snake fan. Mark, if you swell. If you swell, yeah. Mega's got a couple pops. I just don't. I'm not too much of a collector. The only I was, reason I have little little things like that, I think, is because I uh, got them from other people. My, uh, I was talking to a friend this week, and she showed me her collection of pops. She's got like 600 of them bitches. What? Yeah, mostly Star Wars. Holy, well, that makes sense. Star Wars, like, they had all those action figures. That that makes sense. They have so many different, they introduced characters just so it could have an action figure. Well, I think, isn't that, Pop started with uh, Star Wars too, I think. Was it They were bobbleheads. I watched that docu. I watched that Netflix thing. Well, yeah, it started with like that, like that one, like mascot figure, like a Bob's Big Boy or something. Or, yeah, like a bobblehead or something, yeah. right? But like Star Wars were like when they first started making being popular. Mm-hmm. Slow burn. Episode eighty-seven. You didn't. You were looking at that before you said that, and you still couldn't. Was that? I just thought, you know... You're attempted a dramatic, like... I don't know. Is that your Shatner timing there? I'm trying to involve the crowd, everyone, the group. The crowd? The oh, guys. Oh, we were supposed to chime in with you. Something. Yeah, it's episode 87, by the way. Are you fact checker Steve fact coming through? It. Sleepy boy Steve over there. He is sleepy boy today. He's had a tough week. A long, hot week. Long, hot week. He's ready for it to be over. He did get his pressure washing license off. Yeah. Saw he, I saw the results. It looked pretty good. Day and night. I might hire him to do the trailer. <laughs> Blow it away. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was up but, a little too uh, too much there. And, blow uh, the shingles off. Yeah, wait. Did they let you do it this time, or were they still? Were you still directing? I did traffic? a little bit of it, but mostly, yeah, I controlled the uh, controls of the um, traffic. The control. boom, the boom lift. You need to tell that motherfucker next time. You need to say. Listen here, I'm motherfucker. I'm slow at it. That's why they want to get through it. So that's why. No, you just tell them. Well, how do you get faster? You, you faster, if you don't do exactly. It. You say, "Hey, I need, to, I need they, to get on they, this." I also like. I guess I, I'll, I'll do like a line, and then I'll go and I'll miss a spot. I'm like you're missing spots. I'm like, I'm not done. <laughs> you need to just get more assertive with these. It sounds like they're trying to establish dominance. Yeah, you get pissed on them, Steve. Yeah. That's what you need to do next week. What you need to do Take is... Take the little pressure right. washer wand, piss on everyone, yep. and then just pressure wash the whole motherfucker yourself. But remember this, okay? You got to get your dick out, but keep your ass covered, okay? Because you don't want to pull your ass out when you're trying to establish dominance. Yeah, you don't want to have the... Uh... Dick out, ass covered, okay? All right. Opportunist All right. strike. At any moment. I was supposed to go to Naples next week, but that got canceled. Canceled? By yeah. them? Yeah, by them. <clears throat> so they just pushed it off a week. Yeah, they probably the same thing. Like, we were supposed to go to Ocala like three weeks ago, and then we didn't go until last week. Sounds like a very... It uh, happens. Very really tightly wound operation over there. Yeah, it's not surprising. Not surprising. It's all right. You can get a week off from that travel schedule, Steve. You needed it. From this... Been a hard working guy this from past those shitty La Quintas. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. You're getting frustrated with what that hot tub didn't do it for you? Yeah, this kid had a hot tub, tub this week. Like, Ooh, I'm gonna watch Raw in fashion. Did you, Look did at you me. watch Raw from the hot tub? No. Oh. What? Come on. I would have not got I out of that you. thing. It was because I got in his head. There. I got in his head about those no, thing of all the stuff that's happened I, in there. I thought it was broken because I couldn't get the jets to work. And then um, I realized that there's a switch on the wall, like on the opposite end of switch. my room. Oh, and you know what? Like a timer switch. Oh. Like, a, di- like a dial. And I'm like, oh, 
oh, I guess I had to get out of the tub and turn the switch on and then get back in the tub. And I'm like, yeah. So you just took a bath. How silly. So I just took a shower. The design is that. It's hotel construction, man. I've seen some. Uh, Let's have these people walk across the thumb. carpet dripping wet to turn this dial back well, on. Well, you got to make it so, like, all the electrical and plumbing runs for two rooms, but in one. one uh, Entry or one like uh, breezeway thingy in between the wall, so you know somebody's got to give, somebody's got to take. Jeez. Yeah, that's what I have to say but, about that too. I mean, you're over here shitting on Laquinta, but, but my roommate he's been staying in Laquinta's the past like month, all week, and he likes it. He's like, yeah, this is great, and he uh, complains a lot. He complains a lot. I don't know. I think also because I have such a nice new bed. Uh, and then I come and I go to La Quinta and the bed is very firm. You know what it is. It's not. Yeah, you miss your lady. Uh huh. Well, I do. I miss. Yeah. I, do. I miss Aww. Megan. She misses me. Aww. But it's also. The, Sick but with then then there's the also the very bottom line is like this bed is very uncomfortable to sleep in. And that's why like one night I'll get a good night's rest, a decent good night's rest, and then another night I'll get a shitty like I'm up all night just watching TV. Just try you just pressure washing. What you need to do is get yourself a switch for these journeys. That's a nice kid. It's got a point there, though. Man, I'm in love with my switch. I'll tell you that much. I saw you uh, how many, staring uh, at it over there earlier. How many weeks did we go by? Or did months. you go by? How many months did go by? At least five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. It was like even way, it was way before Black Friday. Oh, Bob yeah. I was trying to get you like, let's go around. We're going best buds, get your switch. Go to target. I would have never seriously taken him though. But yeah, because I needed to get the car first. Yes, and I got that. I know that was always your thing. Was like I need to get a car first. And Damn, I got did that. that switch come quick after? That was <laughs> like paycheck after. <laughs> it was literally like paycheck Monday, after. Car. Monday I got the car. Wednesday I got the switch. <laughs> yeah. It was something like that. Saturday but... went to Jack. We went to Lakeland. He doesn't like the uh, the the f- the smell of new to wear off of stuff in his house. Yeah, right? No. <laughs> Nothing else get new getting in here. I may get some, like, mats for the car and, like, do that stuff, but... Are you going to be one of those guys? You can get, like, this little furry, uh... I'm going to get some underlighting for when the, I open the door. Yeah, have the, like, lightning cover. bolt come out. Oh, like a like a, a Tampa Bay lightning lightning yeah. bolt? Yeah. Or the bad signal or something? Yeah, because the lightning are fucking awesome right now. Wow. You know, they're two points away from 100. The next closest uh, team is Calgary with 81 points, I believe. Damn. Yeah. That's in the entire coast. league. Yeah. They are. They just coast into the playoffs and lose Kucherov them. Kucherov is at 100 points. Yeah, the fastest in Lightning history. And he, uh, th- that was his career high, and they still have like 20 something games to go. I heard someone call Stamkos the, uh, the Jordan of, of hockey. Jordan of Hockey. I don't know. Because that would be like Gretzky. Crosby or Lemieux, I think, or something like that. Like as much as present, I... Like present presently? Or you think... Y- or, yeah, because... Like, no. I mean, because there's still... Because Gretzky, is he... Or is he just now down... He's just turned into a goat. No, Gretzky's still like... Nobody's going to touch him as far as goals and all that. It's crazy how much that man scored. Uh-huh. I'm sure he scored a lot off the ice, too. Remember that cartoon they had back in the day with uh, Gretzky and Jordan and Bo Jackson? No. Oh, yes, yes. I, yeah, yeah. yeah, I do. And how <laughs> great were those, like, early 90s, like... Saturday remember the, morning cartoons. Yeah. Uh, street Sharks and... Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, Street Sharks. Biker Mice from Mars. Mars, yep. Uh, SWAT Cats. Fucking... What, I know it was, like, the 80s, but that uh, wrestling, Hogan's... How come that's not back on the network yet? I don't know. I mean, we already have Hulk Hogan on the... Yeah, whatever. It's a sore subject. Yeah, I watched yeah. one episode before that shit got taken down. Do you know what a dick tease that was? One episode of Rock and Wrestling. You've probably never even really seen Rock and Wrestling. I, I've seen it, but I don't remember it. I got a Damn. fire stick you can uh, try to reboot, and you can watch it all you want. Why do you got to reboot it? Fickle. He means like reinstall all the yeah, shit. Well, you gotta, update like, the yeah, bitch. You gotta add, you gotta add new uh, 
it's I, like, I would just go through and do everything. Again. Yeah, I, Steve, I, I don't use it. Let me borrow it for you, Steve. I'll, 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 I'll tinker with it, see if I can fix it. That's all he does now, tinker. Oh, you finally got the PS3 out here. So oh, we're tinkering. Let's check that away, too. Or what'd you do with the PS3? It's in the room. Oh. Did you get it fixed? He no, needed a DVD more. game player. I thought I had it fixed because it turned on. But... Did you get the disc out? Because that's what's in there. There's two there was disc... no discs in there. Oh, well, that's what my old roommate said was that there's two discs <laughs> stuck in there. No, I opened it and there was no discs in there. Like, I opened that. The disc drive wasn't plugged in all the way. It looks like somebody took it out. And the ribbon cable for it wasn't seated properly, so it wasn't getting a connection the ribbon there. Ribbon cable wasn't And properly? I thought that's what it was, but now I think it just needs to be reflowed. I think it's a yellow light. Look yellow light with the death. terminologies. Yep. So, there's that. And I don't know if it even needs to be reflowed or if it just needs, like, just clean it up and redo the... Uh, the what's it called? Paste. Yeah, the pasting. So, what'd you nerds do this week? All this nerd talk. Me? I'm a nerd? What'd I do? You're more of a nerd than him. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Well, you know what I did half my week. Yeah? You spent it at a hotel that you hated. Yeah, it was in Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Steve hated his life for half a week. Yeah. Hated Fort Myers. Did you see anything in Fort Myers? Anything crazy? No. He didn't even leave the hotel room. No. I was just in my room the whole time. The only, thing I, the only time I left besides going to the store to pressure wash it was when I walked across the street to um, Taco Bell to get dinner. You didn't take any strolls around the area? Well, I mean, I walked... It was like a half a mile from the hotel to the Taco Bell. So That's a mile round trip, Mel. Yeah. That's pretty good, Steve. You got out there... I like it. I like it. That was the second night. The first night I ordered in uh, Domino's. Oh. And they delivered to your hotel room. Mm-hmm. And they were... All right. So was the hotel... Were all the doors... What is it called? They were all like... It's were there a, any corridors or... Yeah, it's inside. It was inside, huh? Yeah, it's not... Like we... Because there, there was literally a La Quinta across the street from our... From our store that we were pressure washing. And we thought we were going to that one. But... The street address was wrong, so we're like, oh. And then we looked it up, and I was like, oh, it's 10 miles away from here. <laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> was it a better looking one, though? Yeah, because the one that was across the street was like all out, like out, like the doors took, led you outside. So, <clears throat> you have like a theory on this one, though? No, no, I the just wondered. Outdoor, indoors? No, I was just wondering. Just wondering. Okay. I was trying I mean, to get a visual. I don't know. I mean, now that you mentioned it, though, I think all the. Hotel motels I've stayed at that have doors going to the outside are a little on the uh, seedy side. Seedy side? Yeah. They can be. I think there's a... Mm, Unless there's a, 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 a two levels or more. Yeah, but still, I think they can be a little seedy. I'm a seedy guy, though. Yeah. That's why you spend a little more. I like to take chances. Yeah, I like my the boss ambiance. was think, was complaining like, "Oh, these prices for these rooms are ridiculous." It's like, did you know like you had Disney a Hotel fucking pool prices. in your room? What? Did you know you had a fucking pool in your room? He, he that's probably why he didn't know that, why the price was so much. But he was on a different floor, so he didn't have a hot tub in his room. Did you tell him? Well, yeah, like because like, there was three of us. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was three of us, and two of us were on the bottom floor, and he was on like, the second or third floor. <clears throat> so, so he, you got his room. You got the boss's room. We all got our own room. And I even said it like that, that that second day. And I was like, well, if we're here another night, which we were, I was like, you, you can have my room. I don't care. And he's like, no, it's okay. I'm like, right, then, then quit pitching. <laughs> he was like, yes. Quit pitching, man. Did you offer the hot tub use to the other yeah, fellas? Yeah, you, you didn't yeah, have, a party? Well, yeah, well, you didn't have a party? Because we and together on the bottom floor, we each had a hot tub in our room. But my boss was on like the second or third floor. Didn't have a hot tub. So well, yeah, I offered it to him, and he's like, no, that's okay. Yeah. I'm like, all right, whatever. Swing by for a hot tub, a couple drinks? Yeah. Hand job or two. <laughs> you got to advance, Steve. No, and that, you know what? That breaks my rule of establishing dominance. Because so. if you're in the hot tub getting a hand job, you probably have your pants off. 
so your ass isn't covered. <laughs> well, no. what if you're sitting down? Then you're still, well, your ass isn't covered if it's a bear against a surface. You need a garment. But what if this is about career advancement? <laughs> Why'd you look at Steve like that? <laughs> you may have to, uh, <laughs> may have to open he your may, asshole a little. You may have to drop trial. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you might be able Maybe. to work your mouth. <laughs> Get down on your knees. What would be your preferred method? Of what would you try first? Hard work and <laughs> games. Okay, what well, if that didn't work out and you were in a hot tub with your boss? And he was offering me career advancement. <laughs> For sexual advancement. I would definitely try to get away with the hand job at first. <laughs> Gonna start low? Like, yeah. Like, He'll aim high, but you you aim low. Be the like, and at first it would probably be like, well, you want to like just look at me and take <laughs> care of yourself? Okay, how about my feet? Can yeah. we? How about I use my feet? <laughs> feet. But then you get some guy that's really into that. <laughs> and then I got to touch night. dick with my feet. And how weird would that feel? It would probably feel like touching a dick with your feet. I can't, like, jerk myself off with my... I see you trying. You know, I think with a little bit of yoga, you might be able to. Yeah? If I get limber enough, right? Maybe. Hit the gym, get rid of that gut a little bit. Yeah? I'm sure you can do some foot action. (laughs) Let's do it. Self foot action. Somebody would be paying to see that. (laughs) Somebody would pay to see that. Whatever the hell you're doing right now. Real sex of people doing that. Yeah, there is a real sex segment. What? Can you hear him with how far that mic away is away from his face? I can just noticed that. Me? Yeah, I can hear him. All right. I'm I can hear him loud enough. enough. I, got him, he, I got him jacked up a little bit. Projecting I'm not, I'm not, and enunciating? It's not like I'm whispering, Chelsea. Well, I'm sorry. So you railed that than, segment. Other than me being Fuck. down in Fort Myers for a few days, all I've done really is just... Uh, Play some Far Cry New Dawn. Oh, how do you like it? I like it a lot. Did you take any more notes? <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I still wish I had Far Cry 5. Why haven't you gotten it? I don't know. But uh, there's a... I don't know, but... <laughs> there's, a, there's a game store that's having a 50% off closing sale, so I might see if they have it. Who? Who? Oh, I wasn't sure if it was a lot of name names. Uh, M&M Games. Oh, on Main Street? <laughs> or not Main Street, uh... Which one's closing? The 54th half yeah, one. Yeah, 54th half. Oh, really? They're closing two of them, I think. Yeah, they closed that one, and they're closing, they closed the one on um, off oh, of Central. By Anime Fix. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Oh, they closed that one down already? They've huh? already closed that one down, and they're closing the one on 54th because they're making a superstore. Oh. Where? I don't know. They but don't know? I, I think they're also going to close that, uh, that, that computer, their, that te- their technology store that's like, Few doors, few doors down from the 54th Ave store. Steve's in the know. Damn. So it's like a yeah. They call it. They're calling it's it rough mega, times, man. They're calling a mega store. So. I'm, I want to. Well, I want to see if they have any Switch games on sale now. No. Nope. Man, nah, fuck them. Old school, bro. Yeah. Well, they say all mean, used games are 50 percent off, so I don't know. They could have some used Switch or. No, they already cleared out. If there are there. No, oh, Rob's in the know. I am. <laughs> fuck them. I'd rather not. There's a reason they are closing down. Fuck well, em. No, I mean... No, fuck them. You can't expand so fuck vastly em. into such a saturated area already. They're exclusive one to uh, have, have the sales so they don't have to move a lot of stuff. And they're independent franchises. Ah, uh, Kind that's, of. That's the bigger thing. But there is Largo PlayCon coming up on uh, 420, bro. Is that where you uh, <laughs> went last year? Yes, sir. And I advise y'all to swing by this year. It was fun. What were we doing? Absolutely fucking last, absolutely nothing. Last 420? No, the last PlayCon, because Rob have... went. You were in you the were key. at, like, wrestling or something, right? And you were there. There was something you were. we were inviting you to, but you were. Is it an event at Bowen Nails? I don't, I don't, I have no clue. Wow, this is being train wrecked here. Yeah. Mel. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Steve's week was shit. How was your week? My week was all right. My week was pretty good. Yeah. You know. uh, Switch it up. Playing a lot of Switch. You uh, get first place yet in Tetris? No. 
That's second. That's that was impressive to me. I actually haven't played that much this week. After work, I've just been like tired. You know where you don't want to play video games. You just kind of so stare. Just, you just stare yeah, at a yeah, YouTube so, video till you yeah, pass out. Yeah, I know that. Browse Reddit and forget everything I saw mm-hmm. an hour later. You know, shit like that. My week was pretty uneventful. Uh, slid into some DMs and. <laughs> been talking to this lady this week so we'll see how that goes how does one slide huh how does one slide into some dms slide into the dms you just send that you get message. a running start first huh do you get a running start before you do that it's all in your uh all in the hips no it's all in that's your method you got to figure out the method to your madness you know <laughs> madness it's, is my method <laughs> it's different for everybody some people stumble into the dms some people slide <laughs> some people vault you know, it's all about you. Find you. Can you jump and rock it? it. That's kind jump? of vaulting, huh? Is jumping like a like a vault, or is that just? Uh, is that I mean, no, because somebody. All right, so if you were to jump in, that's different than vaulting in. There's a different flair to the word there, you even s- if it's not a different can action. You, can you slither in? Yeah, see, that's a Harry Potter one. That would work if you that's see. That's kind of like, gross, though. If you're slithering, uh, uh, hey, yeah. I'm just gonna slither into your DMs. Slither into your DMs here and yeah, see but what it, can see, happen. There you go. That's how you do it. That's Steve's so right how there. How are you, Steve? You better not be using this though, because you've <laughs> got a lady on I'm lockdown. I'm not sliding or slithering or jumping or bolting or anything into doing anyone's DMs. So. All right, good. So I'm stuck with my lady. You keep yourself in line. She does that very But well Rob, take well. notes. You could slither in in some Yeah, you take notes. Slither in nothing. See? Slithering just doesn't sound right. I'm hey, like... One thing you can't do is be a stick in the mud to get into those DMs. Let me tell you that. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, fair enough. Yeah. I've, my, been, I've been private propertied. Oh. That's what your doorbell thing said. Private property. I think. Not no, quite it's sure. It's true. It's true. I understand. So when you slide into a DM, yeah, head first, feet first. It's all about you. First. Me, I don't. Do you, you know, it's first? different. Gut first. <laughs> you got to read the situation. It's like a comic knowing the crowd too. I don't think there's one approach, one size fits all here. I think he's giving himself a little too much credit now, comparing himself to a comic. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be a comic because I couldn't. I don't have the patience to prepare the material ahead of time. <laughs> exactly. Anything or the self I come up is off the cuff. Be a freestyle comic. Freestyle He's more comic. like a. No. Yeah. What are they? Um. Uh, not good. No, I don't know. <laughs> roasters. No, roasters. No, no, prepare no, 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 ahead no. of time. The uh, the improv. improv. The, yeah, improv. I did improv in high school. And then. Nothing. I mean. And then, and, and then. then, no, and then, and then, no, and then, and then. I've watched all three of the Final Destination movies this week, and when I say watched, I fell asleep to them. Any particular I put them reason? On. Huh? Any particular reason? There's a third one. There's like ten of them. Yeah, dude. There's like at least six of them. <laughs> yeah, because the third, the third one was three D with the roller the coaster. <laughs> I saw the first two. That was it. What was the one the logs? That was the f- That was the best one. Second, Second one. Second one. Yeah. First one was the h- plane. Second one was the highway pile up. Third one's the roller coaster. I haven't gotten into the other ones yet. I also watched some Indiana Jones this week. Dun, 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 That's dun, what I've been doing cuz I dun, you know, I start playing the Switch. And what I did play on the Switch was Final Fantasy 9. And I've been enjoying it. That switch is going to be my RPG machine. Yeah, but I started why not try the, something Umbrella different? Academy. What? I started watching the Umbrella Academy. Oh, you started watching that? I heard it's good. It's not too bad. I've only got like half hour into the first episode because that's I watched it during my lunch hour, my lunch half. Russian Doll. That shit was awesome. Russian Dolls. Yeah, it's like Groundhog's Day with a drug problem meets Danny Darko. It's pretty cool. I yeah. watched it all in two and days. And then I watched uh, Green Room yesterday. And it's a great movie, isn't it? 
It was fucking brutal. Which Man, one's you not seen it? No. Oh. Is that the one with Sean tried, Connery? I, I tried or, watching it like a, a while ago on like my fire stick, but I, then I just lost interest. It's the me. one where uh, Captain Picard Cap- yeah. 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 plays the uh, white supremacist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's this uh, like grunge, like hardcore band goes to this uh, like venue in the woods. Yeah. And uh, First it mistake. turns out it's like a bunch of uh, boots and laces. Or boots and straps, or whatever. Whatever the uh, boots and laces. I hope boots would have laces. I mean, the, the whatever the skinheads, the racist skinheads they call themselves. I don't know. Yeah. I believe skinheads. I well, believe. No, but like they had, if they had a term for it in the movie, I was yeah, racist. asshole. <laughs> I well, believe yeah, the that was no. It was, the, it was the racist. You know, we don't like other anyone but white people. Yeah. As opposed to the other racists that well, there's, we don't like anyone other sharps. than sharps. <laughs> I never understood that. Yeah. Skinheads against racism. They were just skinheads that wanted to fight other skinheads. Right. It That's w- what it was, right? <sighs> it was weird. Isn't it all and weird? And I, I used I to think, hang out with a bunch I think of Bo sharps. I was a sharp in high school. I knew a I bunch of sharps in high school. No. Mel's like, we can't talk about our personal life because we're characters on the podcast and we don't no, know well, real it's people. No, not that. It's just, I, guess, I think he might have been. I don't know. Because uh, I went to high school with him, I think that's what he. I think that was, I know he was a skinhead, but I think. Whoa. But I think he. Was Whoa. In that, I think he was in the sharp category. But it's like, I I never understood because I always whenever I hear skinhead, I always think it like, fucking white supremacist dude, you know? Nazi. Yeah. Uh, Jack Martin's white laces. But then there's there's skinheads that aren't, and it's like those are sharps. Yeah, I I just don't understand it either. Polo tees, bomber jackets, acid wash pants. Suspenders. Oh, yeah, suspenders. The very thin suspenders. (coughs) Yeah. Red laces. I miss the 90s. I don't remember the 90s. I was a child. Still are, Mel. You still are. (laughs) The movie movie Romper Stomper. Uh, uh, Well, how was your week, Mr. Rob? Uh, Russian Doll. Good. Watch it. I uh, also watched Annihilation. Anybody seen that yet? Didn't you, one of you recommended that, didn't you? I, um, I watched it, but I, got, I don't. I got Prime recently, so I, I saw hey. it on there. You did. Did you watch that with uh, BBW Loveseat? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 Okay, I thought so. Mm-hmm. It was pretty that. good. I remember that. Like the weird fucking animals and shit. And yeah, it's a it's a crazy movie. I have to watch it again because the there was so much to take in. The there, ending, you know? like with the whole alien thing, was it was different. I don't sure. like uh, Natalie Portman though. You don't like Natalie Portman? <laughs> she always seems injured in every movie she plays. Like, huh, huh, help. Yeah, I don't like her. Well, when you're put into a franchise and people are killed off, but able to come back later. And she gets killed off because she has a fucking stomach ache. Yeah. Is he talking about Star Wars? Yes, he is. What? I'm talking about V for Vendetta, though. That was good. I, I always think of my for her first movie, uh, The Professional. Yeah, The Professional. Okay, that was good. Yeah, man. <sighs> Plus, it's Natalie Portman. That was my celebrity crush forever. No, she's cute. Don't you dare talk about her like that. I just don't like her now. Don't make me drop this mic and come over there, Rob. Bitch, I will. Here we drop the mics. Don't drop the mic. You're lucky I don't want to drop the mic because we can't even get me a mic stand, let alone a new mic if I drop You got it. a job? I got bills, let's, motherfucker. Let's, let's, let's put something else new in this room with a mic stand. You like yeah, the, you I like do the need, smell of new. I need to get it set up. When, when I don't have a roommate, we'll get a, a podcast room set up back there. Can we get a table? I know. Like like right there. Yes, exactly. Like right here. No. That's the cat area. What? That's Fry's, that's Fry's area. area. This whole fucking house is the cat area. Well, he has his own bathroom. That spare room was Fry's area for a while. Yeah. Until Chelsea got a roommate. Yeah, until I got these string of roommates. String of roommates? You mean... Uh, <laughs> they, they've been good. They have. So, so far. We'll see. Yeah. Uh... I'm an almond milk guy now. Uh, you can't call it milk. That's nut juice, bro. 
I'm a nut juice guy now. I I always knew you were, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I um I got that the Kashi shit that we saw in the grocery store last week. Okay, the pick cereal? some up that uh, right. blueberry crunch. Mm. Oh, you got isn't that? I got it that. Was good with, man with with some of that almond that- nut. Uh, juice or whatever the fuck. I'll recommend that that Kashi very blueberry good. crunch cluster or whatever mm-hmm. it's fucking called, man. That's and I also picked good. up the uh, cinnamon. Oh, you got the cinnamon. The cinnamon's eye. Right. Yeah, the 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 chocolate one I got wasn't it wasn't. But uh, that blueberry. Yeah, that blueberry though is on point. I hope it's still Bogo at Public. Like, well, no, probably not. There. Yeah, because that was last week when we got it, and those that was deals, Sunday though. Those deals go. That was Sunday. They go Sunday, yeah, Sunday. They go on Wednesday. They go Thursday to Wednesday. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah Thursday I, was the new sale day. Yeah. <laughs> Coming from an ex Publix person. He knows. And then on my internet uh, black hole of the week, my YouTube hole. Okay. I've been uh, sucked into this drama of Rosie the Shark. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Neither one of you do. Okay. In Australia. It popped up in my news feed like maybe three or four weeks ago that there was like this abandoned aquarium or amusement park or some shit. Oh, I, yeah. yeah the, I saw the, that. The, the ta- taxidermy shark or yes. whatever. There's a taxidermy great white shark in formaldehyde that's in there that like people have been like fucking with for years and years and years. Well, like, finally, somebody bought it. Holy shit. And last week was like the whole adventure of it moving to its new house. They, they drained all the formaldehyde and shit out of it. And, Cleaned it out. Oh, yeah. That had, had to been disgusting. Yeah, that had to be a nasty smell. Put that thing on a trailer and, like, took it to this place. Uh, I forget what it's called, but they sell, like, geodes and crystals and shit. Sounds like the perfect place for it to live. Yep. <laughs> so, Rosie got a good home, I guess. And I, I, I probably watched maybe eight videos on that shit last week. See, I've been trying to get off the... We're watching YouTube now, but I've been trying to, like... Get, divert away from it because they're a pedophile haven huh youtube pedophile haven explain i yes. watched this video Elaborate. about it this week all right so is this a conspiracy theory no it's like, like actually Chuck e. cheese like you can go look at it if you uh so you do any any kind of like search for you know like bikini swimsuit reviews or or stuff like that. Anything that's going to lead to where they're like uh, chiropractor videos, yoga videos, anything like that, right? And you go a couple videos in, the algorithm will start to show you pictures of like, start to show you videos with younger kids and you get on there and there's these videos that like... Some of them are legit videos, but some of them are just, like, reposted videos by the pedophile. And, like, you go into it, and it's just timestamps of all the, like, compromising positions of these kids. And, like, all this shit. And the algorithm totally just supports all of it. Like, YouTube's been losing ad money. Like, uh, advertisers have been dropping them because of this shit. Like, this week after that shit came out. But uh, is it their fault? They're, yeah, well, they don't do, like, they don't do enough to, like, curtail it. Like, now you'll get into it, and there'll be, uh, they'll, you'll see some videos, there'll be videos like this, where the, 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 uh, comments have been disabled right. because of, like, the time stamping, or they'll link, they'll send links to private videos that are like, oh. you know, who, who knows what the fuck those are. Right. I don't want to go looking for that shit. But, like, you did research on this yourself and, like, saw this? I didn't. With your own eyes? I watched, watched that video, video and it made a lot of sense, like, because you could do it. I didn't want to go do the research and set up a dummy account and go, I don't, I don't need to. You don't want that on your browser? No, I don't, I don't want that on my conscience. Let alone my browser. Like, I, the video was enough for me that I didn't... It's interesting. Yeah. I'll send you the link to the video that I saw. I'll watch it. All right. That's a... It's a YouTube video, so... I'll go down that <laughs> hole. Um... Yeah, that was our weeks, I think. That I sounds like a segue. Yeah. 
into some wrestling news. Wrestling. 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 Uh, he got a bicycle. Got a bicycle. Degeneration X. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame bound. With China. The whole crew. This pisses someone to the slow burn off. Pisses Steve off. It did piss me off. I'm just asking questions about why isn't this guy going to be coming in? Because Chris Benoit killed his family, Steve. Killed his family and himself. With ruthless aggression. (laughs) Bro, he killed his autistic child. Well, it was like what? I, mean, I don't think like at that point does autistic have like eight or nine any more bearing on this. Yeah, no, he killed his child. Yeah, and put a Bible next to him. Yeah, bro, he went off the deep end. That's why you'll never see Chris Benoit in the Hall of Fame. China, yeah, never seen that. Either. And China isn't getting inducted by herself. Let's no, let's say that a, could like, be a Trojan horse. Steve has a rationale behind this. Where's your logic on this? Well, just for, I mean, what exactly what Steven said? Like some kid that may not even know who the fuck China is is gonna watch the Hall of Fame thing with their their dad. And dad's gonna be like, "Oh look, DX is in the fucking Hall of Fame, yeah!" And like they're gonna like look up on their phone who China was, and they're gonna find out they're gonna get porn links who China was. <laughs> like they're not gonna get China in, in the attitude there. They're gonna get China. Post attitude. They're going to get China as She Hawk uh, in the Avengers parody, porn parody, or the. But that's, I think that's also why she's not going to get in by herself. I don't know. I, let's could be a let's do an experiment. Like I said, it could be a Trojan horse. I got my phone here. Like when you look up DX China. No, you just look up China. C H Y. Search. Billy Gunn says, China's inclusion is the most exciting part of Hall of Fame. Uh, Pictures. Uh, No porn. No porn. Stats. I'm sure WB's probably already gone through the thing. Well, I mean, it's been a minute. She has been dead a while. Yeah, I mean, there's... And then you get Black China. (laughs) It's a whole different story. Like, uh, I think it's safe, Steve. And at this point, what's I think it's okay to have a you know porn versus somebody who went off the deep end with steroids and murdered their whole family. I would want to distance myself a little bit more from that than the porn. The most compromising pictures I'm seeing of China are actually of Black China. So, take that what you will. Yeah. So I don't think I don't think uh, Black China got a pass. Sure. Oh, your your theory no longer stands up. Hmm. Well, how do you, what do you what do you have to say for yourself, Stephen? Never. I say just never. Perry Mason your ass. Never say never. Is that a real butt? Huh? Black China. I'm sorry. What? Black China is a. Uh, I don't. She's she like was at once internet married. Internet celebrity. She was nah. at once married, or is the baby mama? She has implants though, because I see a before and after picture now. Good lord. She was once married, or uh, baby mama to one of the Kardashians. Mm. The fucking Kardashians. Oh yeah, the Kardashian brother. I was yeah, like... the one of the, like because it was like I think two brothers, something like that, and one of the one that's more on the TV show or whatever. That would be a. Uh... Steve thing. Yeah, he knows it. Total Divas. Uh, Total Divas. I haven't been watching this whole season. <laughs> the, or Total what about whatever. the news? Yeah, are you hmm. are you disappointed? With what? <laughs> Doesn't even know? No, that Lana's off the show, bro. Oh, because she's pregnant? No, well, Miz and Maurice got their own show after she got pregnant. Uh, Lana is not pregnant, by the way. That's not her. That was not her reason why she couldn't be in the rumble. What do you mean? She She's said wrestled she was pregnant. since then. No. Yes. When? Since you said that, she didn't wrestle that night. When I said the night, that. no, she wrestled after that. That Monday. That Tuesday. Or no, Tuesday she didn't. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she's smacked down. It was in a mixed tag team. She said that, and Rusev said that on their shit. That's why I said it. I don't know. I think you might be wrong. I think you're wrong. All right. So I don't nudes know. leaked of Lana. That's why she's no. He said news. Oh, news. I think he said nudes. 
Is Where's it, your mind at? That's a Freudian no, slip, right? No, it sounded like you said nudes leak in Lana, oh, so see. that's why she's been kicked off of... Uh, Not yet, brother. Jesus. Not yet. Rusev is kind of angling to get out of his contract, too, huh? Rusev wants to be in the Hulk Hogan movie. <laughs> Anything. Pay Chris me, Hemsworth is playing Hulk Hogan. I laugh about that. I thought, that, it, was, I thought yeah. it was rumor at first, but then like two days later, then it was becoming official. The real American brother is going to be played by a... Australian. Australian brother. Well, Captain America was played by an Australian, too. That's also true. I don't know. But, like, Bruce is like, I'll be the Iron Sheik. I'll be any Anybody, bad guy. Pay yeah. me, brother. It's awesome. Bruce has the best Twitter. Your boy Pac, did you see the video? You saw the video. Yeah. Setting that finger. I've seen the pictures. Oh. I didn't watch the video. Steve's kind of squeamish. Yeah, he didn't watch that. Neither one of you watch that pimple popping video. Wait, no, no, Steve did. No, Rob did and was, because we were watching it on a. While we're recording oh, that's podcast. right, and you wouldn't. And See, I, he's I, a non-participator. I, like, I don't like it. No, sir. Didn't like it. I don't like it. Hmm? I don't like it either, but... Yeah, Steve. Experience. Step out of your comfort zone. I Hey, I didn't like watching uh, Fear Factor, and there we go. So I'm not going to watch Dr. Pimple Popper. Put I'm not going on. to watch people eat live cockroaches. Why am I going to watch... You want to watch that? I watching Faces of Death when they're eating live monkey brains. Why am I going to watch... What's the grossest thing we could get you to eat? All three of us would eat it. What's the grossest thing you would eat? No, I'm not I'm not getting in on you this. You would eat a grasshopper? Oh, maybe. <laughs> you would, eat a ro- would you eat a roach? Maybe. Mealworm? Is it like sautéed? Mm-mm. Just live and mm-hmm. crunchy? No. Really? Only prepared. Get the fuck out of here. If all three of us did it, I'd do it. No, fuck it. I need it pan fried with Still some out. rice. So it'll be the two of you. I'll just watch. What? Come on, Steve. So what would it be? It wouldn't be anything. I don't What's eat. the grossest thing? Like liver? Ooh. I think I would eat a roach before liver. Liver. Steven, come on. We need you to step out of the comfort zone. <laughs> you eat calamari, don't you? What do what Yeah. Love calamari. What do we need to set up as the like GoFundMe goal here? <laughs> If they pay you, if somebody said, if they give you that fuck money, are you going to do it, Steve? They give me that hot chop jerk off money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if somebody came at you with the proposition, and you I don't, further you don't your have career. to give some dude a foot job in a hot tub. They're going to Ryan Adams your ass. Yeah. You wouldn't eat it? Probably not. I don't... All right. So All somebody right. came at you and they're like, you're going to get a million bucks if you watch this Dr. Pimple Popper video <laughs> while you eat a roach. Ooh. You're going to say no to that? Because oh. I'm going to say, all right, real fucking quick. What's your bottom dollar? He's uh, out. Nah, man. I'm, 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 I'm looking at you. Now. I never say my bottom dollar there. You let them. Like I said, a million. Where are you coming back at me? 50 bucks. Yeah, no, fuck off. <laughs> I got bills to pay, okay? <laughs> That'll pay I don't a... got kids to feed, but I got a car note. I got, like, credit card notes. So any money is good money I at that point, then, Mel. Elect- you know, I got utilities. All right, okay, okay. So you got to come with more okay. than that. You're right. Okay? 50 wasn't fair. I, I said a million dollars. You're right, and I said 50. Why don't you respect my goddamn offer? I'm going to respect. Because you know these what? negotiations right. are breaking down real fucking quick. I'm, I'm going to put some respect I'm a, I'm a yeah. put some respect See, on that name. See, now I'm adding 1.5 is what I want. Got to round up. Got to round up. You come at me with a bitch-ass offer, I'm going to come back at you. Because listen, I don't need this. You need me. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's too I know people down the street that will eat a roach for less than 50. Well, you go get them to do it, but you're not getting me to do it for that. Fair enough. Fair enough. See? Rob, that's how you do it. I read The Art of War. That's how you negotiate. <laughs> Just Nietzsche me? <coughs> Nietzsche? Isn't that Nietzsche? Sun Tzu, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, what did Nietzsche write? Nihilism? That's right. <laughs> uh, Ty Dillinger asked for his release. And was granted it. Was granted on this here Black Friday of with, wrestling releases. With a, but there was three people. Four. Arn Anderson was let go last week. It was. Yeah, it's just now getting out though. Do you not read these stories? Do you just read the headlines. 
It may have been Thursday. But <laughs> two days ago? Yeah. Yesterday, so yesterday, yesterday, Thursday. Yesterday, Thursday. But that doesn't yesterday, Thursday. That doesn't count as a Black Friday though. Well, it depends on what time of Thursday. Okay. Black Week. Like Eleven fifty nine. And they Thursday didn't. Night. They didn't officially announce that themselves, did they yet? Because the other three were announced on the uh, WWE social. I don't know. I just read the headlines on Facebook. Is that? Of un, un, Did you not read the news regulated articles? Unvetted, un, undocumented. I didn't hear about it already, the dirt sheets came out today. Mel says it was last week, though, or yesterday. Because Mel has, you know, sources on the inside. I I remember reading the thing and it not being. It was like it actually happened this day, but sure but Ty Dillinger, Hideo Tommy, TJP, and Arn Anderson all We're released gone. from the company. And none of them get their future endeavors. We wish them well in their future endeavors. Yeah, so. It's kind of old now, anyway. And it's war. We're at war again. Though. Yeah? We're at war with well, a t-shirt company. Dillinger uh, put out a tw- uh, tweet of how, you know, thanking WWE and everything. Yeah. As well, well he should. put that out. That was before they announced it. That was, like, his way of... Stopping the flame. Well, stopping the flame and kind of, like, publicly saying, hey... You know, this is balls in your court now, WWE. You know. Just because I only doesn't mean to give my wife, the, my girlfriend, the shaft. Yeah, his boo, his boo, Peyton Royce. Well, they're not gonna let them go because they'll just go make money somewhere else. You know, that's the thing. Can't let anybody go then. Yeah. You know. I mean, shit. Once you can say former WWE wrestler. Yeah. That uh, jacks your price up rather high. AEW is having some trademark issues. Yeah, but that's normal. Yeah, it's very normal. Uh, The real messy one is probably with the the All Out. out. But that's a stupid name anyway, so not too much of a loss there. (laughs) Fickle ass Mel. Uh, So, yeah, they they shouldn't have any problem in the near future. I don't see any problems with that. They just need more clarification. And that's fucking bureaucrat bureaucratic paperwork that's paper pushing right there paper pusher that's another thing steve got salty about this week though was aew the t-shirt company yeah i believe he was referencing uh being the elite if you pay attention steve care to shed some light yeah you were salty about it steve early in the week aew you weren't happy with the way they uh are handling things right now you want yeah, them to run some house the, shows? Yeah, I think they some house shows before they get before they put out the um, the main event. No, but see, it's not the main event though. This is the build up to that. We're eight months away from TV and house shows. That's a lot of, that's a lot of ring rust. If there is house shows, yeah, that's what he was complaining about. How they were popping up at the independents instead of doing their own thing. You kind of garner the. Uh, the attention of the masses. Yeah, this is all the hype game. This is you just target your hype. audience. Yeah, he does. This not is just look hype satisfied. building, and then after you build the hype, that's I'm telling you, that's when they'll announce a TV deal, and they'll be like, "You can check us out here every Thursday night or whatever." And you can still check all these guys out at their local independent bingo hall. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of them will be working like that. Which is good. It's the way it should be for them. Probably the only exclusives you'll have are like Kenny Omega and the box. And They've already said that Omega can work freely with And NJP. Cody Rhodes. But yes. You know. But the other people, I'm sure they'll let them get dates other places. Steve, cheer up. Yeah, cheer up. I'm sorry, buddy. The big dog's back on Monday Night Raw. Yeah, I know you'll be happy about that. The big dog. He's going to give an update on his leukemia. Okay. He's going to look in the the camera and say yo steve yes it's gonna be like, i want you to cheer up dog he's gonna call you oos and everything <laughs> would you be happy i'd rather have the usos call me oos whoa hey so how about the uso Ooh. penitentiary all that stuff like the night after i was like that didn't age well yeah after they get <laughs> locked up just living the gimmick and winning the titles I guess they didn't phase them at all, huh? They were like... Yeah. Elimination Chamber. It was a good pay-per-view. I liked it. But... I, I, 
don't know. I knew that was going to be a squash match, though, between uh, Rye and uh, Rossi. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. But I said it was going to be a squash match, and you guys, you guys said no. Well, you didn't say that they were going to do what they did afterwards, either. Yeah, you didn't say that. Yeah. Yes, Steve, yeah. What? You mean on Monday? No. No, on when... Uh, Becky oh, Lynch. Becky Lynch came out. came and through with the crutches. Yeah, beat everybody down with the fucking crutch, and it was all Bloody stone cold. Rousey. That's what that whole and, match was and, about. And Flair. Yeah, Flair's arm looked jacked. All the well, bruises. She was laying into him, all right? And apparently Rousey said, hey, hit me as hard as you can Yeah, with those crutches. Well, she misses the MMA actually yes. getting hit, you know? Yeah, we saw that her hair turn red a little bit. I'm sure that got the adrenaline pumping for her. She's like, yeah, fuck yeah. And also that Sonya Blade outfit. Rousey. You liked it? I did it for you? Made me pop. hey Rob? You should go to Sturgis sometime. You'd love it there. The biker place? You can get yourself a biker woman. I would... I mean, it would probably be good for me to put me in my place. But nah, me and the bikers don't get along. See? What? You are too stuck in your ways. You need to be more fluid in life. Both of you. <laughs> Fuck fluidity. Look at this one trying to. Re- I like being the be a reliable dominant person. Yeah, I'm trying and to change not- my ways. I had a. I had a wake up call. In the form of a BBW love seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was months ago. Exactly. <laughs> So sting. you need to learn that from me. sting was and, for and real. sting had him months ago, and now he's finally woke. <laughs> well, because change... <laughs> all right, change takes time. Change is going to come. Uh, change takes time. It doesn't happen overnight, Stephen. And that's the first part of change is acknowledging. And you know what? I'm sick of all this bullshit about change being this fucking straight path upwards. No, there's lots of dips down and coming back up. And that's that's what it's about. Perseverance. Comes comes up. And coming back up. That's what makes a champion. Getting knocked down and coming back up. Alright? Yeah, fucking Steve. Yeah, fucking Steve. Okay? We all know the real reason why we fall down. To learn how to pick ourselves back up again. Yeah, see? Steve gets it, fucking Rob. That's if a, any of us. That's a Batman quote. I'm with you, brother. Oh, all right. I'm solidly with you. Well, fucking listener. Yeah, get your shit yeah. together. Get your fucking shit together, okay? It's about time. God damn. The fuck are you doing listening to us? No, hey, listen. I mean, no, after you're done listening to us. Yeah, and there's going to be stumbles, but that's okay. Come on back and listen. And listen. Get that satisfaction in your ear holes that Nell will give you. Yeah, because listen... We're going to Mel us a solo show. And sometimes in life, you want to number. save a lot of people and help a lot of people. And sometimes in life, people only help one person. And you know what? If that one person is you, it's okay. It's okay to help yourself. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm out. It's right there. Uh, back to Elimination Chamber. <laughs> we have uh, Buddy Murphy Retains. 205 Live Championship. As he should have. We also have brand new tag team, women's tag team champions of Sasha and Bailey. I stand corrected. I did not think this was happening. I thought for sure Nia Jackson and Tamina were. And uh, I was wrong. I apologize. I, sure I literally uh, almost jumped on my seat when Nia and uh, Tamina got pinned out. I... Th- the way uh the the pin that Peyton Royce and what's her face got I thought was pretty good too, just the way it happened. Uh, Usos tag team champions we already said that Balor, Balor is your new IC champion, and Kofi. Kofi fucking Kingston gives the match of a lifetime. Might actually bring Mel back. When he was about to do that, um, Kofi man, I heard you. Hey Mel, Kofi. I had to come back for that one. <laughs> when he did that frog splash, I thought he was also about to do the, the boom. There, yeah, he didn't do I a boom. I was hoping for him to do a boom. Like, like, oh, this is the end of New Day. 
but no. Nope. Mm, that was one. So what about this? Damn good. One spicy rumor that Big E's going to turn at Kofi at Fastlane and cost him the championship, and that's your WrestleMania match. Whew. Kofi versus Big E with Xavier on a pole. <laughs> Xavier on a pole at one put, end. Put Xavier in a and, cage above the ring. And Francesca on the pole on the other end. Oh. Oh, that would be a tragedy. And it's just like WWE to to push one person, you have to break up the group. Like, yeah, you guys can't have just a champion in there. You know the Shield. Who are you? Yeah, it's so dumb, right? Who are the Fabulous Thunderbirds? We shall see what happens. But goddamn, Kofi. Kofi, if uh, we the- knew he wasn't going to win, but if you weren't chanting his name Sunday night, stop watching wrestling. Let's change his name on Tuesday night, too. Yeah. Steve changed his name a lot. Yeah, he if, was uh, trying to do it from the hot tub, you know but it would have I mean. required walking across the room. <laughs> Kofi! Kofi. Kofi! You, yeah, man. Fucking Kofi's star of the show for a little bit there, huh? We'll see. We'll see. He ain't gonna get no belt. Do you think Mustafa we'll Ali would have gotten the same treatment? See, that's the that's the thing, though. They don't have the same story there. Like, the background makes a lot. Kofi. Ali's got a background. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's a story they've already told, though. Well, they've told that, and it's not the same of, like, Kofi has that great built-in backstory of being there for so long, never being champion, you know? I hope he gets it. It ain't happening. I even if he wins it at fast lane and loses it at Mania, it didn't happen. Mania is too big for. That's not happening. Why? Why are you such a hater? Because Vince McMahon. That's why. Not me. No, you are. I would love for it to happen. Such I think him and Brian would have a great match. And then all the NXT call ups on SmackDown and Raw this week. Yeah, Monday that, night NXT. That uh, I uh, guess there's rumors that. Trips and and Vince are in a, at odds Blood over heads uh, over NXT. Well, it would make sense. You take the four guys and you don't have any plan for them. And yeah, just but like that arena Monday night. Weren't they a shitty crowd? Pretty quiet. Yeah, for the NXT guys at least. Anyway, everybody really. But woo. yeah, no, they were. I saw somebody said you could bring back Eddie Guerrero and have him win the Universal Championship that night, and the crowd would have still been on their hands. Damn. Uh, Aleister Black, Ciampa, Gargano, and Ricochet brought up for Raw and SmackDown. Ricochet. 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 <laughs> Balor and Ricochet defeat Leo, Leo Rush and Lashley. So how bad do you want to see Balor versus Ricochet for the IC title? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, fucking yeah. I want to see that. Prince versus Prince. Devitt versus Puma. Fergal. Fergal Devitt. Um, but what about the Le- the Russian Lashley thing from Elimination Chamber? We didn't talk about that. Where, like, Lashley, like, kind of turned on Rush, and then... He was just frustrated. It was <laughs> frustration. On Raw, like, is in, like, the faction with... Uh, or actually, no, he uh, he tags with a uh, rush in yeah, yeah. It was it's just frustration coming through, you know. Uh, Don't pay no mind to it. I think oh, I think that the faction of Corbin, Lashley, and uh, McIntyre, I think that needs to secretly be head by Vince McMahon. I think that could work really good. It was me, Austin. Yeah, one of those things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not going to happen. No, it won't. Uh, DAY beat the Revival in an yeah. untitled match. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Just became champs last two weeks ago. And, uh, and then lose yeah. to the new call ups. 50 50. Yeah. Aleister Black beat Elias. Yeah. And then Andrade the next night. Yeah. What about uh, the rumor? Huh? The rumor about Andrade. It's not a rumor. They uh, confirmed it's legit. it. Here and him and Charlotte. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. That'll be husband number three and nine for her. She's a flare. Woo! 
And that would be right on three. Yikes. Uh, Dean Ambrose basically gets squashed by McIntyre. And then has a hilarious backstage segment with uh, Seth. Where he asks Seth, well, where were you out there? And Seth's like, are you freaking crazy? And he does the Dean faces. And it's like, eh. Dean, they're just letting him. <laughs> you know? I don't know what the fuck they're letting him do. He's but just doing his own thing. Matthew from Botchamania made a little fucking thing from that promo, the little segment backstage where he like put all of uh, Dean's uh, uh, CZW stuff and uh, all his hardcore stuff like as a flashback. Hilarious. Must see. I'll be on Botchamania this week. Feel free to chime in in anything, guys. I see you just staring at me like sharks. What the fuck? What happened on 205? What happened on NXT? Hey, you don't watch 205 Live. I don't either. But you guys do. I don't. I haven't watched it in a little while. Uh, SmackDown? And I'm sure our, our listeners watch 205, and if they don't... Do they? Think, I don't know. Maybe if they do, but if they don't, they could probably, like, oh, that's what's going on there? I don't... To I don't, be honest, I don't... Because I also boycott the network, so I don't know what's going on on the network. Like, that's what listeners probably might... If other listeners boycott the network. I'm going to... Hot take it, here, but I don't think a lot a of our listeners listen to us for our wrestling, wrestling talk. talk. Yeah, the ass end of our wrestling talk. Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, they cut off after our week is done. Some of them. I don't know what the percentages are there. That Rob's the numbers guy. Well, you can't get percentages on that, really. Well, if you look at the numbers, they don't lie. They don't. He's gonna pull some Swire. math on you. Uh, basically, SmackDown. Same as Raw, <laughs> the, all the fucking uh, NXT guys won. NXT, and it just makes no sense to me. But sounds like Vince's decision. Let's see where they go last yeah. minute. You know, Mandy Rose defeated Oxa, and that's probably going to be your new feud. Feud. Yeah, that's going to be your mania match for her. Peace. You have to build somebody up. The two other two top women on. I would much rather see a. Uh, What's her face? DeVille. I, I believe DeVille is a badass. I think it might be Mandy and Asuka at Fastlane. And then it'll be interference with DeVille causing Mandy. And so it'll be a... A three-way? Three-way at Mania. That would be... All right. Because they had... Because that'll be... And that'll be the, the feud also between Mandy and DeVille. She's got a point. Yeah. I'm right there. I'm the new Russo over there. I'm writing shit. I can see you being a Russo. <laughs> you can be that. <laughs> you can be that all you want. And then Kofi versus Daniel Bryan at Fastlane. Fastlane. Which will probably be another amazing match. Yep. Without a tongue change. As long as it closes the show. Hmm. If it closes the hmm. show, I could see Kofi winning. But they're not going to do it. No, that ain't happening. That's just them. They won't do it. So there's no uh, universal title on the line. At... What's the universal title? Yeah, what is that? That red thing? Yeah, that red belt that's defended by the whole universe. Annually or like quarterly? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know. That we won't see until... That's so WWE. WWE, though. Not Well, we have these long-term plans, and we're not going to break it for the hot thing right now. Like, that's a dream match right there right now. Kofi versus Brian at Mania. Right? Why is it going to be at Mania? I mean, it's Why happening at Fastlane. Yeah, but, you can have just as good a match. But putting the belt on You probably have right a now. better match at Fastlane than if it was at Mania. Oh, yeah. You get more time, I think. Yeah. So, dude, let Kofi Kofi. But I want him to win, mm, Rob. I'm sorry. I want him to win. I want that. Cause it's good to, to me, want things, Mel. To me, that story isn't complete until he wins, you know? Some, some this stories... is going to be like Dan fucking Marino chasing a Super Bowl, okay? I want to see Kofi get that damn belt. Laces out, Dan. Yeah. Laces out, he's Kofi. Gonna get, he's going to get kidnapped. Yeah. I want the Buffalo Bills here. I want Kofi to win. This is, this is why goddamn AEW is going to be better. Already, I think. 
because they fucking. Well, it's why it is why there's such an upturn in alternatives to WWE because they do this shit where they just don't put I, it on. No, where, you're 100 percent right there. You know, it doesn't have to be a W. It could be NJP, MLW, you know? Progress. Yeah. It could be anybody. But it's because that they'll actually listen to what their fans fucking want and do it and see follow it through instead of having fucking. Daniel Bryan versus Kevin Owens at Mania for their belt. Not that I don't think that'll be a good match. I just don't like the build-up to it. The story's better. And it's right there. My rant's over. I'm, I'm done. Well, with the end of Mel's rant and him being done, Steve being cranky. Is there nothing international going on? Steve, you've been cranky all fucking day. Nothing's going on international news? Progress? Uh, no, nah, not really. Progress has a, a new uh, show coming out, or a uh, new chapter coming out this week, I believe. Uh, Defy. Watch Defy. It's good. New Japan. Yeah, you're breathing with they the switchblade. They just had a show like the other night, I think. So I saw it on YouTube. You know more about it than us, though. Than like us. I've seen... Post interviews on. They make me keep picking this damn mic back up. Drop that mic again. I, I will. You. Don't. I dare you. Don't. I dare you. Don't. I dare you to play. It has up. to be at the proper time. You gotta I, know I, your timing here, Steven. I double, gotta, I double dog dare you. No, Steven. I double dog dare you to place that mic down. Uh-uh. Place that mic down. Nope. Put it down. I'm not gonna damn, fucking gotta, put it down. You let him tell you what to do? No, obviously not. I bet you won't put that. Put your tongue on that pole. What? Fucking Steven. He got me so mad. That went, oh, we were talking about how he's been cranky all fucking day. <laughs> I triple dog dare you You've to place crank- that mic down Look on the at you. table. Still cranky. Maybe if you had your shirt off. You'd... And you know, yeah, Mr. You oh, is there? The it's, 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 he was fucking testing us. Is there anything international happening? No, you know what the fuck's happening. You want to see if we know. Why I don't know tell what's us? going on. I don't know what's going on. I know there was an event in New Japan, but I don't know what it was called. But I know you mo- know more I about international stuff. I canceled my subscription. I told you that. But you go on Reddit. You go on Reddit, too. No, I don't. You said you were going on Reddit. I was, and then I stopped. <laughs> Why would you stop? I don't know, I just couldn't Just keep like up Twitter. With yeah. No follow-through with this kid. Fucking cranky all goddamn day. I'm done. I'm mm-hmm. done with it this time, for I'm, real. I'm an old man. Told you, put down. <laughs>